Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mott. What we're going to do is do our uh, one of our demos that we do in thermochemistry where we uh, mix some barium hydroxide and some ammonium uh, chloride solids together. Um, we're going to mix them in a beaker on top of this block of wood uh, and I'm going to put some water down here uh, and we're going to see what kind of change in heat flow that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put a, kind of a dollop of uh, water on top of here all right and um, i've got a beaker it's important for this demo to use one that's got a really flat bottom there a lot of times a beaker will kind of have a dimple going in so hopefully that's going to be the case here um, so we're going to set that on there and then i weighed out about 40 grams of this is the barium hydroxide and going to mix in the ammonium chloride And then what we're going to do is going to stir these up. Now, a lot of times, a two solids together wouldn't really have uh, uh, this process wouldn't really sort of go, uh, but this one uh, it does, which is pretty pretty cool. All right. Oof! Gives off a bit of odor. Uh, in this whole process as we uh, mix this together and it's starting to turn into a bit of a slushy now it's really kind of going here keep mixing that up there Oof. I think we got a little bit of ammonia smell going on and as we mix this I'm feeling this and it's actually getting quite cold all right, so the, the reaction in the beaker is getting cold, so we probably have a good sense this is an endothermic process. All right. Um, and we're just going to let this react a little bit um, and, uh, and that sort of thing. And uh, in a little bit, we're going to see if we can, uh, by lifting up the, the beaker, lift up the, uh, the wood there, um, and what we want to be thinking about is, as this reaction is getting cold, um, where is the heat flow? Is the heat flow going out of the system, which is the system being the chemical reaction, um, or is the heat going into the system? All right. So that's something to kind of think about. All right, this has been reacting a little bit. Um, we uh, sort of allowed everything to happen that I think we want to get happen. And so now, cool part about this uh, uh, little demo, just by lifting up the uh, beaker, I'm also lifting up the, uh, the block of wood. And so something to think about is sort of how that, how is that process happening? Um, and what happened is that this beaker is actually is now frozen to the block of wood. And that's why we're able to uh, pick this up uh, it's not just held together by some type of suction or anything like that. It's actually frozen to the block of wood. And if I take this and I try to pull it apart, it's actually, you can't quite tell, but I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure here um, trying to pry this apart and it's just not, not happening. All right. So even if we pour off some of the water there, um, this is still really frozen there. I'm not able to pull this apart, I'm actually kind of worried about breaking the, the beaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and let just everything warm up to room temperature. But that's our demo that has to do with uh, uh, an endothermic process and, uh, uh, and, and getting us thinking about heat flow.